Twitch has Smite. That's actually not... I think a new meta is gonna be like taking Smite into mid or top lane. I feel like that's a new meta. Like, why don't they do that? You just have to Smite five times. After you Smite five times, it becomes your Smite. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Did they take that out? Did they take out? It's like, so there's a thing, guys, if you don't know. If you have Smite, if you have the jungle item, right now, I don't know how this is in PBE, and you take too many lane minions, it won't let you take lane minions anymore. Like, each one will be four gold instead of, like, ten, which is big. But I haven't gotten the chance to see that in the PBE yet. I'm going to play safe, play cool. This is a more aggressive lane. He has Ignite, too, but I think I could still kill him. Level three. I'll do my best. Oh, fudge me. I miscalculated. I was born a and I just used both my summoner the spells. Made me a criminal. First blood. Wait, you just gave him first blood? Uh, bruh? We need him to use his shadow on me. A mage seeker tried uh, to you, must, you have to wait for him to shadow and then go in. Otherwise, he can just run away. Did I really not hit level 7? Oh my god, I really didn't hit level 7 there. That's so unlucky. I definitely wouldn't have died. I had flash and stuff. Like, I could have used that. But I thought I was going to hit level 7. <sighs> That's all I needed to do. I just needed to hit one E, man. And I get to shut down and wait. The lane is back into my control. I knew I could do it. It's just like... So what you have to do in this matchup is basically wait for him to W. Once he Ws, that's your opening. And then if you hit it, it's like easy. And it's really good that he had no ulti nor ignite. So... I'm gonna take this. That's a good ulti. I'd rather have this than Zed's, honestly. I shouldn't have done that. Should have done my W first. Swag. I should have W'd and then ultied. I panicked and did this way prematurely. Wait, we can kill him together. I didn't need Ignite. If I don't need Ignite, I'm not going to use it. I'd rather use it for Zed. Got a shutdown. Plus two on the stacks. You have no shadow. You have no shadow. You're just dead. I burst you faster than you burst me. I'm actually... Zed lanes are usually pretty hard. And the fact that he got freaking first blood on my jungler and still lost after that is awesome to me. Just... She's tanky. She's wait, she's Took super fed. Wait, she's level 11, you're level 7. Big. Heads will roll. I love Shivana's ulti. <sighs> Just leave me alone, ma'am. Just leave me alone. I got my Magi stacks just to give them right back, bruh. How do we win this? Oh, wait, my Q just did so much damage. This, if, if we fight anytime, this should be the time. Dude, you just passed her. This guy's hilarious. That's a freaking 
almost dead. Why me? Can I kill him? Maybe it was Zyra. Ugh! I greeted that W so hard. I almost died. Oh, let's go! Dark Shield stack! Magi stacks! Dude, this guy's so troll. Remind you that he has two kill participation. He has literally two kill participation in a 24 kill game. Juke! Why don't you juke? I got him! Boom! Boom! Winnable! Dude, set ult is actually perfect for Gnosis because it's percent health. You don't win this. You know that, right? Boom! Winnable! 20 Magi stacks in the bag. The only way I lose is if I get exhausted by Yone. And even then, I still might be able to one-shot, depending on who it is. But he has Phantom Dancer and the Sterex item, so it's, like, really hard to break him down. Who do you AFK now? I actually don't mind him being AFK. He's kind of useless. He kind of just gives the enemy team more healing. <laughs> If I'm being honest. I'll Wait, no, I'm not. I don't know what my decision making was there. Alright. I need Seth's ultimate. That was weird. I could have Zonia's, but I didn't think he was strong enough. My Q does so much damage. We just won. Wait, that was all my Q damage though, by the way. I guess when you have 48 magic penetration and 20%, it's pretty darn strong. Like... Bruh. Silas carry. <laughs> Wait, 1200 damage in one hit? Really? She has TP, but I got her flash. It's worth because of Dark Seal. And I even think, because she has no flash, because I still have health pots, I could probably stay in lane. So there's the TP. I'll have a level advantage as well. I'll wait for my electric to come back up and maybe be able to kill her. But the scary thing is, don't know where Warwick is, and I don't have flash, so there's a chance he could be looking for me. I guess I didn't even need to hit level four. So she walked up too far. I had a huge minion wave. I had to punish her for that. This is the truth. Warwick can kill me, but I really need to shove in this wave, to be honest. I'm not going to use my mana just in case he does. I'll just use a Q mana. Dude, if you get an early lead with Dark Seal, it's over. I have 53 AP. Dark Seal's giving me an extra 40 AP for 350 gold. And I'm about to get even more. Could get boots here. That'd probably be smarter because I have no flash Good. now. Evil. And Cassiopeia is really good at kiting me and slowing me, so I think I'll sacrifice my early mana for boots and just be more conscious of it. Warwick's bot side. Tradition is a <laughs> she turned around. Rookie mistake. Didn't even need to W her. <sighs> I just got lucky there. I was gonna ulti no matter what. If you ulti them and it doesn't hit their face, it still slows them. So I think I was going to kill her anyways, but the fact that she turned around just made it so much easier. Oh. 
really close. Join me or die. Did she never ulti me? Why did she never ult me? I thought I actually messed that up. I didn't even mean to hit that E. I think it was too far, and the fact that Warwick was waiting just proved my point that I'm getting camped, but. I'm not going to be able to finish this. I'm just going to go back and get the Blasting Wand. Such an expensive item. I got lucky, I think. Everything just went perfect there. But I had to use a Flash, which is kind of annoying. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. She got it. I thought the enemy got it. I'm here. Ah, I was hoping she would turn around. They're so low. Uh, actually, unlucky. I don't know if I'm this good. Can't move. I knew it. I knew that was a bad idea. If I could get Nico ulti, I think I might have been able to live that, but I freaking killed her by accident. I didn't think both my Qs would hit her. She walked into it. If I got that, I would have had a huge shield. I would have lived. Never seen her do well. I'm not gonna use the knight here because she's dead. Got it. Got my stacks back. I got my stacks back. Cast is mid or top. I'm gonna push mid and get tower. She only injuries two. That's no fun. W. Ah! Oh! I wasn't igniting either. That whole time I didn't get ignite. I got ignited. I couldn't ignite for some reason. Nice. That was a three v five. Oh, Warwick ulted me. I was just kind of stuck. Okay. I think, yeah, we'll go Sorcerer's Shoes. I could go Tenacity, but I'm looking to haul ass here and just do more damage, more and more damage. Dude, someone's coming for this. I know it. Shut down. My comboing was a little rusty there. I think I did my, I, pit. I was itching my nose. <laughs> To be honest, I was itching my nose. I didn't know he'd come that soon. Join me or die. W, damn it! No! Oh, the root stopped me from Wing. Now I can't get Magi's. I hate my life because I and because of this. So basically, you damage a champion with a non-targeted ability at over 750 range or immobilizing them. So my E my E immobilizes. It literally reveals the target and increases my damage to them by 10%. So like I want to hit my E first now more than anything. I, I want to hit my E first so then I could burst them. So that's why I was trying to do there. That's why I was holding my W for so long. But sad. That's what I'm saying. Like you have to respect the champion matchup because no matter she could be 0 and 20, but if I'm sitting in her W, I'm useless. Honestly. Hold up. Wait, this is not good. Yo, I, we don't talk about that. I killed him, that's what matters. We don't need to talk about what. We don't need to talk about who hit what, missed what. Dude, actually such a long, such a long CC chain. And I, what happened to me stealing uh, Nico's ultimate? Didn't I steal it there? Why didn't I have it? Dude, the bonus damage on items is nutty this season. I think that's the biggest thing. It's the bonus damage. Like, my abilities do half of the damage now, and the rest is just items. This has actually given me an extra almost 1,200. This has given me an extra 700. And don't even get me started on penetration. I have 38 magic penetration and 20% without any specific items for it. The main problem now 
is just champions. Like, Cassiopeia is just an amazing champion against me now. Always has been, always will. Okay. As long as they kill Cassiopeia, I can kill everyone else. Four v five. I was, or actually, Jinx wasn't even there either. I want Garen's ultimate. I mean, why do I need? Why? Why would I queue if I don't need it? I'd rather just kill him in the quickest succession possible. If Q, I mean, I'll do Q after, but Garen can, the thing about Garen is that he could just get out of CC so fast, so I really just need to pop him. Like the Pinata he is. Electric, everything just worked in like perfect. Perfect symphony? Is that what the term is? Like all of these things just work so well together. I almost have. Oh wait, no. Deathcat's not 1100 anymore. Tilt. Oh, my Q killed him. I missed. My Q killed Warwick, I didn't even notice. Dude, this is almost on 2000 extra damage. This item is broken, what the hell? How, I don't even know how, but it does so much bonus damage. <laughs> I just wanted to kill her there. That's so unnecessary, but I wanted to kill her. Dude, Pop goes the freaking weasel. What the hell? This is so good. Dude. This is two games in a row. I actually just smash. I, I'm so happy they brought Assassin's Silas back.